if you ask us who our supporters are, they might not be people who've achieved married, committed, exclusive partners and children. They might be, but they might also be people who are receiving benefits, who are chronically unemployed, who've not been able to complete their education because they were denied support, because they were discriminated against or because they were pushed out. They might be people who by all means, according to ableist ideas of what's normal and successful, haven't been successful adults, but they've been mentors and supporters in our lives. And so the message that I want to offer to you in thinking about who someone's supporters might be and how to effectively work with someone's support team is to expand your definition of who someone supports for our own good. But for many of us, 